ya is a unique bovine species of economical importance in high hill and snowbound areas in india this versatile bovid is a major source of livelihood for the highlanders living on and above 3000 meters above mean sea level where crop farming is virtually existing considering the unique species specific characteristics its role in the economy of highlanders and dwindling population of yak in india indian council of agricultural research had established national research center on yak at diram at an altitude of 1500 meters above mean sea level of arunachal pradesh in 1989 under the 7th five year plan since its inception this institute is conducting comprehensive research on yak implementing various action programs pertaining to yak genetics and breeding yak nutrition yak physiology yak reproduction yak health yak management and in veterinary extension to fulfill its mandate under the inspiring leadership of dr kishore kumar barwa a dedicated team of 11 scientists are working consistently to achieve the objective of this research institute to carry out the basic fundamental and applied research on yak each scientific section has its own laboratory well equipped with various modern and sophisticated equipments in spite of remoteness difficult terrain lack of modern communication and inadequate staff strength the center has made significant achievement in all spheres of yak husbandry like genetic characterization of yaks for morphological and reproductive traits in all the yak rearing states of india embryo transfer technology popularly known as ETT in yak has been standardized and a calf by ETT miss mo was born at the center for the first time in the world protocol for cryo preservation of yak semen and artificial insemination developed for conservation of genetic resources and first yak calf and hybrid calf born through ai at this institute complete feed block and area specific mineral mixture has been developed for yak post harvest technology for yak milk meat and hair has been developed the experimental yak farm of this institute is located at nikmadum at a distance of 31 kilometers from dirang on a diversion of tejpur tawang highway at an altitude of 2750 meter above mean sea level with a total area of 67 hectares as on the day the farm houses 178 yak including 117 female and 61 male yaks the nikmadung farm complex comprised of 19 animal sheds two fodder preservation sheds veterinary polyclinic a small feed milling plant a seminar cum exhibition hall and an andrological laboratory collection and preservation of yak semen is a routine practice at experimental farm of nrc on yak presently six genetically superior bulls are being used for collection of semen using artificial vagina method the computer aided semen analyzer is being used for initial evaluation of various parameters good quality semen is selected and further extended with suitable extenders for preservation of semen both liquid and frozen semen preservation is being practiced with standard protocols and it is developed after extensive research at nrc on yak animal nutrition section of this institute has identified characterized and evaluated the local tree fodder forage grasses and pastoral herbs this institute has a fodder field of 15 hectares to produce quality fodder round the year like maize oat dactylus bamboo white clover silax and different tree fodders with a production of 200 tons 
per annum. Young Products Technology section of our institute is working on value addition and quality assessment of traditional milk products like paneer, churpi, churkam, ghee, cream, dahi, lassi and yogurt. A noteworthy product developed according to consumer preference includes dietary fiber enhanced low-fat paneer, otherwise called functional paneer. Apart from supplying required nutrients, functional paneer is quite protective against cardiovascular diseases and colorectal cancer. Yak hair fiber products are quite popular in yak tracks of India. Various products prepared from coarse yak hair include carpet, foot mat, pea cap, local hat known as chitpa zamu, rope known as zadak, bag and blanket in Chamar that are popularly seen in Gurudwaras. Under the extension activities of this institute, on and off campus farmers training program on scientific yak husbandry and animal health camp are being organized in all the yak rearing states of India. Artificial insemination technology of yak has been successfully transferred to the farmers field. A Krishi Vigyan Kendra for Lohit district of Arunachal Pradesh has been established at Chongkham under the administrative control of NRC on yak. Besides the research and extension activities, the institute has published different literatures in the form of books and bulletin, both in Hindi and English, on different aspects of yak husbandry. NRC on yak has received so many nationally and internationally recognized prestigious awards like CSIR Award for Science and Technology Innovations for Rural Development, Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed Award, etc. At present, yak husbandry is being confronted with so many issues like indiscriminate breeding, degradation of highland pasture, unscientific management practices, and prevalence of disease. To counteract these issues, the National Research Center on Yak ICR is working for improving and conserving the yak for higher productivity and profitability through innovative research. With the aim of recharging degraded high altitude pasture and sedentarization of yak herdsmen, a network project on amelioration of temperate or alpine pasture for livelihood support to pastoral communities has been formulated and executing in collaboration with Indian Grassland and Fodder Research Institute Chansi and State Department of Animal Husbandry and Veterinary, Arunachal Pradesh. Yaks have uh, inherent poor reproductive performance. Uh, to improve the productivity of yak, the reproductive efficiency is required to be enhanced. The National Research Center on Yak has been consistently working on application of reproductive biotechnology like synchronization of estrus, multiple ovulation and embryo transfer, artificial insemination with the help of enzyme technology with considerable success. Recently we have initiated works on in vitro fertilization to produce yak and hybrid embryos in the laboratory itself. Lastly, it should be taken into account that yak rearing appears to be rather bleak if appropriate all concerted immediate efforts are not taken. The poorest of the poor landless yak herdsmen have not been provided due social justice. If necessary steps are not taken, it may be the fact that not only our future generations be denied the sight of the magnificent and lovable yak raising, the dizzy heights of the Himalayan meadows, but a whole culture and tradition revolving around this threatened creature will be lost.